So Italian design uh, was born in the 50s between the collaboration between uh, young designers, Italian designers at that time, like Giaponti, Marco Zanus, and many others, and some entrepreneurs that strongly believe uh, in uh, design business. Step by step, I think that the global panorama was changing. That's why at the beginning of the 80s, I started to look around at the world just to check what was going on. Because on one side, for sure, uh, Italian design was uh, still very important, but uh, I strongly believe at the time that something really was happening in the world. That's why I started to cooperate with uh, young talents coming from all over the world, from uh, England, from France, from the States, from Japan, and so and so. And frankly speaking, still today, I strongly believe that uh, for me, it's not important if a designer was born in Sydney or in Milan, if he's 80 years old or 20 years old. The most important thing is that the designer is good. You know, I think that uh, uh, really there is no future in design if there is no innovation. That's why I think that it's really very, very, very important to give space to the young talents and to work with them. Sometimes it takes a lot of time. That means we have to invest a lot of time, a lot of money, a lot of energy because you start to speak with the young designer and you arrive maybe to the real product after a few months or in some cases also in years. So I started in the 80s. Uh, to work in this way and uh, frankly speaking on one side to one day I'm very satisfied when I see that uh, many of the designers that he, I introduced at that time like Jesse Morrison, Tom Dixon, Mark Newson and many of the Burley brothers and so many others are really stars of the design system today and on the other side today when you look to the catalogs of the most important Italian design companies most of the products are designed by foreign designers so that's why today is very important speak about design. I don't think that we can speak anymore about Italian design, French design, uh, or American design, or Japanese design. Today Italian design is still important. I think that today when we think to Italian design, uh, we have to think on one side to designers that can be Italian or international designers. On the other side, we have to think to the Italian industries that they still believe, a part of the Italian industries, they still believe in research and innovation and they are still hoping to take their own risks. And uh, we have to think that today Really, again, the, the panorama is a global panorama, so it's very important to try to create for Italian design some products that we can sell in Milan, like in Paris, like in New York, like in uh, Singapore, and so and so. So, maybe that uh, the difference between the Italian design of the past and the Italian design of today is that today the Italian design is more international. Absolutely, I think that also the way to work is changed. That means that, uh, and uh, uh, to try to follow you know, the needs of the industry and to try to follow the needs of the end consumer doesn't mean that we have to kill the creativity. Today, I think that we have to work in a more responsible way. That means that we have not just to create one product because we like to do that, but we have to try to give the right answers to the market. We have to try to give to the end consumer what they are expecting by us. This is very important, I think, because really the very important thing is from design just to come out just a little bit from the museum and to enter into people's homes. I think that this is the real goal of design. Yes, uh, sometimes I think that it's uh, more and more difficult to be normal than to do something that is special. No? To be normal, uh, it means to try to do, I think, products with uh, a lot of innovation, with a lot of creativity, but uh, really products that uh, really can be used every day uh, by people. This is, I think, that uh, is very important. And uh, uh, to do normal products, uh, but uh, with a strong image, so normal doesn't mean that is uh, something very simple or very stupid, but uh, something with uh, really a strong uh, concept into the project, I think that is uh, the real way to do design. And uh, to do normal projects, uh, in this way you can really create uh, long seller more than the sellers. And I think that the difference between a design product and a very good design design product is that maybe a design product can be a bestseller for two, three years and after that it's there. I think that a real strong and normal
same product is good today and is good uh, for the next 20 years. To be a long seller, I think that is very, very important. I think that uh, really, frankly, believe that Milan is still the capital of design. Fortunately, we have people coming from all over the world in the April Design Week in Milan just to check what is going on, just to see what is new, just to see which are the new trends and so and so. So at the moment, you know, you have to think that really more than 90% of the design company are based in Italy. That's mean that to work in Milan, to make exhibition in Milan, for us is more and more easy because we work at home. So that's why we have really to defend this uh, big opportunity that uh, we have. On the other side, so if you're on one side, we have to work uh, absolutely in a very strong way on travel, so on presentation. And so on the other side, the city has to really be close to us, to our needs, so giving all the services that uh, foreign visitors need. Yeah, you know, we started uh, with the Cafe Lili company to be here in 2000. I remember that Gisela Borioli bought this space, it was an old factory. And so in February, she called me and came to the camp because uh, I bought this space, maybe we can do something during the Milan Fair. And we already uh, had the project in another place for the Cafe Lili presentation. I came here with my team, and when I saw the space, I thought to Gisela, no, we have to do the exhibition here. One month we changed everything and uh, really we made the first exhibition. It was really a huge exhibition out of the fair in that, uh, at that time and it was really very, very successful. And for sure, the Super Studio of 2000 well, is not, it wasn't the Super Studio of today. We are working here at Super Studio in design, uh, just trying to show to the people that today make design, doing design is not only to design a table, a chair, a sofa, but uh, we will have also some installation coming from other companies that are not uh, involved in design, in uh, furniture design business. So that's why we decided to call a sort of temporary museum you know, for design, the Super Studio during the Design Week in April, because we think that really all the people have the possibility to see good products, good installation, good things with a very, very high quality. That's why we select all the companies, all the groups that are going to exhibit here and uh, we are quite sure, we are satisfied of the result and uh, we are quite sure that uh, it will be an interesting mix of uh, uh, design and an interesting mix of uh, uh, really what is going on in the world right now. I think that on one side is a very interesting phenomenon, on the other side I think that uh, we have to look very carefully to this phenomenon because uh, really for sure in uh, design business there are limited edition, also Capellini is doing sometimes limited edition and uh, with some special products and so and so. I think that anyway to buy a design piece, if it's unique, is like to buy a picture or to buy a sculpture. If he is just producing sir, in uh, just in mass production, it's a totally different story. So at the moment, I think that there is just a little bit of confusion about this. Sometimes I think that people are paying a lot of money for something that doesn't have has that value. On the other side, for sure, for design to enter into the art market, it's really very, very important. I think that we have really to be very careful to really uh, tell and try to show to the people what it means to be a unique piece of design, what it means to be a prototype, what it would mean to be just a, a um, product producer with the mass production, also if it can be a very, very good uh, industrial product. The thing that I like more to do, yes, I think that uh, I'm always interested and very curious, so I'm always uh, very interested to get in touch with uh, new people. Sometimes also I go to some different uh, worldwide, uh, some different design schools or universities just as a visiting professor, so I have the possibility to meet uh, new interesting people. And uh, I think that today I don't think that uh, Design is only Europe or only Japan. I'm very interested in all the middle and 
far as terminatrix and so on. So that's me. I'm trying to really to give a more a bigger uh, view of uh, overview of uh, what is going on in the world with the young designers. So I think that uh, anyway, it's very very interesting to see what is happening because on one side there is sometimes a big contamination between different cultures. On the other side, it's very interesting because sometimes uh, you can really in uh, find new fresh ideas in countries where that are not so contaminated by the history of design.